Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me Umber Rays and today we're going to be talking about a character that, well, you know, there isn't every day that I just make a solid video for a character and recently I've been following behind on reviews and that's okay because a lot of the stuff that lately has just been, can be summed up as slightly better DPS. Eh, not exactly the most exciting things a lot of the times, but definitely good characters, but... It's been very rare lately that I've gotten excited about something in Brave Exodus, mainly because usually it a lot of the stuff just works out to being, hey, it's another pure DPS in physical or magical. Yay! Uh, so it's hard to be overly excited about a ton of that stuff. It's also overly ex hard to be excited about what is just being pushed as numbers. Because while numbers are very important in a game that is just about, you know, killing your enemy, it is a little bit sad that the game kind of devolves to that, and there is a class of character in this game that has never been treated that well, which is, of course, the Bard. The Bard is seen very much kind of as a joke class, and unfortunately, this character has been kind of seen as a joke for a long time. Elfim is just kind of this character that everybody has kind of said, well, not everybody, but a lot of people have been disappointed when pulling her. Well, congratulations, all you Elfim owners out there. You actually have hit the fucking jackpot. Elfim may be now just the most solid and best buffer in the and debuffer in the entire video game. So, yeah, uh, needless to say, uh, Elfim owners, congratulations to you. Us Primrose owners can finally stop lording something over you. But what is so exciting about Elfim? Well, her enhancements are basically that. Uh, she will no longer be seen as a joke character, and anybody who says that she's a joke character or a troll rainbow, uh, you clearly don't understand just how good she is. So let's take a look at her buffs, uh, starting with her, her enhancements, which the first one was basically just an AoE buff while sinking, obviously something that has not been good because it doesn't allow the user to attack for mul or do anything for multiple turns. Well. Now, this becomes a 180% buff with uh, two, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, for multiple turns. But what's interesting is the way that the data is on these enhancements. First of all, it's gone up to 180% buff, definitely a high amount of stats. But what's interesting here is it actually recasts every single turn. So not only does it buff 180% and now adds the light element to all of the units on your team, which is very valuable. But the thing to note here is that the way it has been kind of said to me is that, um, or the way I interpret it, is that it is recast at the start of every turn, meaning that enemy dispels no longer work. I'll let you that sink in for a second. Basically, enemies can no longer dispel these buffs. If there was anything that was going to make debuffers considerably more powerful than what, or I mean buffers, considerably more powerful than the way they've been, it's reapplying the buffs at the start of every turn, and that's what Elfim does. What's more, Elfim is a pretty defensive unit, so yeah, the idea of a defensive survivable unit that just keeps recasting things, regardless of the enemy dispels, finally is a step forward against bosses that are just pains in the asses that can dispel. Looking at her next ability, it becomes an AoE 200% attack and magic buff for 3 turns with an AoE 75% defense and spirit debuff on the enemy for 3 turns, AoE 36 MP heal split over 3 turns, and on the next turn, as you can see, it basically recasts. But it is recasting at the start of your turn, meaning that even if the enemy dispels, it's recast again. This is unquestionably the strongest part of Elfim's kit. Uh, Elfim has gone from being just whatever to... Oh my god, I hope I pull an Elfim. Actually, since I don't have any Elfims, I'm hoping I pull two Elfims, but... Eh, we'll see. 
And the rest of her buffs are, or her enhancements go pretty much the same. Her Basically, she has the opposite one, which is a defense and spirit buff, good, great for survivability, as well as works just fantastic with Chocobo Fina too. Chocobo Fina is both a light chainer as well as, but, you know, using Elfim to just buff her and give the light element safe Chocobo Fina a turn, or half of a turn, which is still valuable. The other thing to note here is that, um, <coughs> Uh, the the defense buff is also a attack and magic break too, so they are opposite to whatever you are getting buffed. The enemy is not. That's one of the things I really like about Elfim. But uh, there's also the HP heal, which is not the greatest HP heal, but free HP heal while doing it is pretty awesome. But again, the reapplying of buffs here is the really, really big selling feature of Elfim. Uh, non the, the biggest problem that you always can say about a buffer or a debuffer is, well, I, I apply the buffs and then the enemy dispels them and now I've lost a turn or like if it's on a cooldown ability. But none of these abilities are cooldowns, but just being recast every turn makes them very, very valuable. Now, as for the other thing, Elfim should have, it should be noted that uh, according to the data that we heard yesterday, it would allow an action on the following turn. If that is the case, if Elfim is allowed to actually act on the following turn, then Elfim is just straight broken. Uh, El Elfim is the queen of the deeper of the buffers slash debuffers. Congrats, she wins. Because the idea that you could potentially work the both have both multiple of these running at the same time would be insanely broken. And I'm not saying it is that way because it doesn't appear in the data right now, but the data could be parsed wrong or every, anything. So until I actually try a fully enhanced Elfum, I won't know for sure, but even if her undispellable buffs and debuffs are way too valuable to, you know, not give a giant thumbs up to anybody out there with a seven star Elfum, enhance and enjoy. Now the last two ones, uh, so one of them is just her big AoE, HP, and MP heal, which is 100% for both for the entire party. That has been reduced to, uh, <clears throat> on a seven turn cooldown, available turn eight. Great survivability, really strong healing. Uh, MP heal is pretty nice, less valuable to back than when it first came out, but uh, still nice to have in case of an emergency. And the last thing that is not on these lists is her when she's equipped with a heart, now she gets 70% HP and MP. I think it just goes a long way to making her very survivable. She had pretty nice stats beforehand, uh, pretty high spirit, pretty good defense, and pretty good HP. And now it will be uh, considerably better with these enhancements. Uh, well, not her defense and spirit, but since she can basically be running just so many buffs, uh, yeah, she should be pretty damn good. This goes a long way into making bards not only survivable, but really worth taking seriously. It seems like she just has really great stuff in her kit, uh, the enhancements go a long way to fixing a lot of her problems, and if she can't actually like sing and cast an ability on the following turn, uh, then congratulations Elfim, uh, you win the prize for the most broken unit in the game. And I'm okay with this. I am. I am okay. Elfim was a unit that I really liked the design, but hated the banner at the time. Now that we've come uh, to basically here, uh, yeah, I would really like to get my hands on a couple of Elfim and make a 7 star and enhance her right away. So all of you guys out there should definitely do it too, and anybody on the global side, start preparing now. So, um... I was trying to think before this video of what I could potentially put for a summary of uh, just how great I think Elfim is, and the only thing that uh, kept coming up to me was a suggestion from Elfim, or Elfim herself. Uh, you know, she, she really wanted to make sure that you guys all understood just how serious you should be taking her, so um, Elfim, do you want to say it? That was Elephim's message to you. She also left a, a portrait of herself. I am terrified, so I'm going to look away.
yeah, she's 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 really pissed off at everybody who made fun of her. Uh, yeah. Bow down before the god of support. There you go. I did it, Elfim. I did it, Elfim. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we haven't said nicer things about you, but I will say nicer things. Anyway, you guys, uh, that is all for this video. Uh, I will be taking a look, of course, at Nagi, uh, but that is when the game comes up because I actually do have Nagi. So I'll be taking a look at her and fully enhancing her as soon as I get the chance. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. We also got to talk about that banner. Woo, that's going to be fun. See you then.